many of the birds. The Perdiz are a unique bird in the fact that they live in this really short grass and it's a, a partridge uh, bird and I love shooting partridges over pointing dogs so we're looking forward to a nice hunt in this great looking Perdiz field. Nice point. Up next our English center Luna is having no problems finding us the Perdiz wow. and Chef David Olson is preparing fresh pigeons in the wild game gourmet plus a South American high volume dove shoot right here on American Gun Dog. <laughs> After hanging out in the morning shooting pigeons, uh, it's a great way to warm up for the day. And again, we have the luxury of being in western Uruguay where Perdiz are only about a half an hour away from pigeons. And the pigeons are fun, but my favorite kind of hunting is hunting upland game birds over pointing dogs. And that's what we're going to do next. The Perdiz live in these rolling fields, these lush green fields, very low grass. It's a really kind of unique hunt from the fact that you wouldn't think birds would live in these fields. It's very different honey. I mean, it's very mellow walking, pretty easy walking. Uh, should we go give Luna a chance? There'll be plenty of points. Dog goes on point, uh -huh. you move up tight, quick. Yeah. That's a nice point. You ready? Sucker gonna come out of here. Wow. Nice one. Nice one, Harley. Thank you, buddy. On the board. I love how this dog works. Repositions, constantly repositioning. Fantastic dog. Yeah, it's a nice dog. It's a hard bird on dogs too, yeah. I bet. A lot of dogs that are, are, are not used to running birds would just sit there and the bird would run off. It's like a lot of birds that I hunt. Yeah, and in this wind, they're really holding tight. Yeah. I, I've, I don't think I've seen them hold this tight ever. That's fun. Woo, that's fun. It was really exciting to use Luna today. She's uh, of European breeding. She's an English setter, uh, raised here in Uruguay by a trainer. She's excellent because she moves very fast, and in that cover that we're using, she goes on point, and the birds start moving very quickly, so the hunters need to move up tight, but even if you don't get up there in time, she relocates the bird, so that all you have to do is angle in on her, and you're going to get the flush. This dog works nicely, ranges, quarters nicely, keeps in close, I like her butt shakes. Nice shot. Long shot. <laughs> Good. I, I, I didn't have a safe shot on the dog. Yeah, you waited nicely on that bird. A lot of times these birds fly right above the dog. And that was a, not, a, not a safe shot until you let it get up and away. That was a long shot. That was a nice shot. It, it's, it's important to have the discipline to wait. I mean, you know, hunting is about discipline and exercising discipline and judgment. And, uh, you know, when the hairs on the back of your neck start standing up, it tells you something's wrong. Yeah. And you see that dog out of the periphery, it's better to just not, not take the shot. There's plenty of birds down here, tons of shooting opportunities. Yeah. No reason to no reason to jeopardize safety in any way. Especially that dog. That's a good dog. Well, I think uh, the dog's not exactly chopped liver. <laughs> the dog knows what she's doing. Let's okay. go. Let's right. go. Your turn. Fly low and fast, don't they? Right now with this wind, this birds just don't want to flush. Oh, your bird. Good shot. Thank you. Oh, man, constant action. I love the Perdiz, man. That's my favorite down here. Yeah, the my Perdiz favorite. is awesome. Yeah, I like the pointing dogs in the Perdiz. Oh, that's fun. There's nothing better than shooting wild Perdiz over pointing dogs.